In LightRoute software, you are able to multi-up your variable applications as well as define the placement of your applications when using specialty stocks, like the perforated ticket stock used in this event ticket application. Here you see my completed design of one variable event ticket. To start defining my multi-up settings, I first need to create a job. I do this by going to File and selecting New Job. The job tree is where I can define my print job properties. To define my multi-app settings, I first select the multi-app folder and click Add to enable more options. You can define your application as being multi-app in both the rows and columns. In this particular instance, I'm only going to be multi-upping my application in the rows, so I select the rows option, and from the edit information drop-down, I select the number of times that I'd like my application to be repeated. So I'm going to select four and click Update to update this information. When using specialty stocks with specific margins, you can also set the dimensions of the margins using the Margin option. I select the Margin option, and from the Edit Information drop-down, select Yes, and then click Update to enable more options. Once I'm able to expand this option, you can see I can define each of the margins left, top, right, and bottom. First I'm going to select the left margin and I can type in my desired dimensions. For the left margin, I would like it to be 0.627 inches. Next I click Update to update this information. So I'm going to continue defining my margins in the same manner by selecting which margin I'd like to change, using the Edit Information drop-down to change the information, and then clicking Update. Once my margins have been defined, I'm going to move on to the paper size folder. This is where I define the end result paper size that I'm going to be using. So I select this option and then click Add to enable more options. Right now the orientation is set to landscape and I'd like to change this to portrait. So I select the orientation option and from the edit information drop down, choose portrait. And then click update to update this information. The second option is where I can define the exact size of the substrate that I'm going to be using. Right now it's set to a custom size. To change this, I select the second option, and from the Edit Information drop-down, I can select from a wide variety of standard paper sizes. In this instance, I'm just going to use an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet. Click Update to update this information. Now all my multi-up printing properties are complete. When I click Save to VIP, You'll see the end result produces a multi-up variable application with specified margins.